Hey guys, happy Friday. This is the first time we're actually uploading this segment on this day. It's not very time sensitive, so I thought it's not really worth keeping it earlier in the week. Mm. Her song of the year, 2006, this week. Yep. It's Hustlin' by Rick Ross versus What You Know by T.I. versus Throw Some D's by Rich Boy featuring Polo de Don. I believe it's his name. I didn't actually listen to those two. I will, not, I will admit that. What? Throw Some D's and What You Know? Yes, I forgot okay. to. But I've obviously heard Hustlin' before. It's quite an yeah. iconic track. So I'm going to leave a lot of this up to you. So okay, what do you think of the, the two challenges first? Okay, uh, what you know was very similar to Hustlin'. Right. Like in terms of like how far, like as far as the construction of the actual song goes, all lyrics are fairly similar as well. Mm. They don't really stray too far. The only th- difference between them is that Hustlin' sort of went viral. Yeah, Hustlin' really popped off. Didn't yeah. It? And I don't really know why it was that one over the other one. Yeah. They're very similar. So This was that, his first ever song. Goes. Was it? Yeah. Rick it's Ross's f- first like this was his lead single of his whole career. And he just Fuck what a start. What a what a bop. Yeah. To start with. Yeah, there you go. It's still being sampled today. Yeah. This was this That's came crazy. out before his first album. I did not know that. There you go. Um Throw some D's though. That was uh, about throwing some rims on a car. Oh, classic South shit. Yeah. Right. So it's, it doesn't really get much better than that, really. You just throwing some Ds on the yeah, car. Yeah, like. What's the D? What does the D mean? Is that it, it, for something? Tr- uh, Daytonas. Oh, throw some yeah. Daytonas on the car. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, there was a song. I forget what it was. It had. It was by Paul Wall. I know that much. Right. Recently. Sure. Like of the song of the year, I, I think it was like two thousand four or something. Anyway, there was a line about having eleven monitors inside. Right, it's very similar to that. Right, like it's just very about pimping out a car. Sure, yeah, classic shit. That's it. That's like that is a, a pivotal part of hip hop though. Oh it? yeah, of that area of that yeah. region. Yeah, but yeah, hustling is really the most common yeah. theme. Like talking about talking your shit. Yeah, just talking about you being the best. That's and, definitely uh, got song of the year for me yeah. this week with the three of them. Yeah. But um, Rick Ross sounds funny in the verses. Yeah. He's fairly high pitched. He is. He doesn't have his. <laughs> he doesn't have his dog bark down. He doesn't have just his yet. classic. Um, yeah, mate. It's first single, mate. You gotta yeah. give him give him some time. He has to grow into the character. Well, like now that you've said it's his first single, that's even more impressive. It really is. Yeah. It? So shout out Rick Ross. Yeah. Been sampled a bunch of times. Mm. Um, it's I I see here it's been even sampled in Russian music, and like some sort of Mexican or some sort of Spanish music. There you go. So yeah, it's gone worldwide, mate. It actually has. But yeah, <laughs> I think that that song is is a really good song. I think it's a a landmark because that was sort of what made Rick Ross huge, and Rick Ross is a very big part of the hip hop landscape. I think that yeah. a lot of people sort of underrate him. He's a bit of a a bit of a meme. That's a bird, but it sounds very weird. Um, yeah. I think a lot of people confuse him with DJ Khaled, you know? Yeah, I, I would say so thing. too. Like, Because um, like, if you ask, oh, what's your favorite Rick Ross song? I bet a lot of people wouldn't actually know who Rick Ross is. Yeah. But like, he's sort of like that hidden... hidden he, he does a lot of work behind the scenes like with record labels. Like, like T.I., I think, as well. Yeah. Like, T.I. is very... Underrated. He's a yeah a staple of hip hop. Without him, like it would be, be nowhere near as big. He's a silent assassin. He's sort yeah. of like he's sort of like Lil Wayne, but Lil Wayne just is a little bit more famous. Yeah, you know what I mean. A lot more famous actually. But yeah, hustling by Rick Ross. That's what raps about talking your shit. Yeah. Basically, just um, yeah, you know what I mean. Just, <laughs> just saying, just bragging really. Yeah. And then this was like a Florida classic, like. Um, like a Miami classic Rick Ross is obviously huge in that region um, and regions like that are very loyal to their sort of uh, artists yeah. and yeah the, it got played a lot like when I went to New York all I heard was New York rappers mm. uh, Biggie Nas uh, Tribe Called Quest Jay Z Wu-Tang yeah like and I could only assume that you would just hear this everywhere you went yeah. Fat Joe even yeah um, but like, yeah, everywhere 
you go, I assume that this was being played in 2006 and yeah. probably still today. Because like, I was listening to like Wu-Tang from like the 90s and they were still playing that shit. So <laughs> I bet they're still playing Hustling. Great yeah. song. Uh, okay. Deserved winner this week. I I would assume. Yeah. I haven't heard the others, but um, it would be hard to hard to win against this one. Yeah. The, the brevity of it, the, the scope that it had. Yeah. We've had that for a couple of weeks in a row now yeah. where just one is just an absolute... Has blown it away. Yeah. All right, so congratulations to Rick Ross. Uh, he should make Hustlin' 2. Surely it's a thing. Surely that's a thing. <laughs> I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> maybe we'll have a song of the year in like three years' time, or three weeks' time for us. All right, well, be sure to tune in later today. We've got our quiz. It's just a normal quiz this week. My week to bring the punishment. Mm, is it an active punishment? Do we do it today? No. Oh. You pay it off during the week. Ooh. Yeah. All right. So be sure to stay tuned to hear what that's all about. Okay. We'll see you then. That's a wrap.